The SKS, a Russian carbine developed in 1944 by Sergei Gavrilovich After development, this piece of wet ass was immediately bested by the Chad AK-47, causing it to seek refuge in China where it was accepted by their guerrilla fighters. Today, the SKS goes up against the M14. Wait, no, get that piece of shit out of here, not the M14. No, the M14 on crack. Enhance. A gun so nasty they fired up Frankenstein on Enhance. speed dial. They made a 2.0 version. Double the damage, Enhance. double the bullets, double penetration. But the SKS Enhance. ain't no palm olive boy, no sir. It's making a splash in the COD world. In fact, YouTubers have lined up on their knees with six inches of its barrel down their throat. I mean, look at this guy. He looks like he's about to clog his jimmies. Anyways, it's enough. Enough messing around, it's time to make Whoopi and see which gun it has what it takes to be the better gun of the two guns. Starting things off, we're going to use the SKS here and we're going to see in close range what kind of damage we're dealing with here. Starting with the limbs, so that includes the legs and the arms, we're going to be doing a whopping 48 points of damage. Let's move to the lower body where we're going to be doing 52 and to the upper chest we're going to be doing a 57 and it kills me to ruin this pretty face but uh, here comes the money shot and boom goes the dynamite 100. Let's switch things over to the EBR. Easy there. Let's do the same thing. Let's bust open that other kneecap for a whopping 55. Moving on up just above the vagina, we're going to be doing 60 points of damage. And something interesting here, to the upper chest, we're also going to be doing 60 points of damage. And finally, 165 for the head there. Alright, so what did we just learn? Well, for the SKS, to the limbs and the arms, it's going to be a 3-shot kill. To the lower body, we're going to be able to do a 2-shot kill. 2-shot kill as well for the upper body, and we're going to be able to 1-shot kill to the headshot. This is all in our close range. Now for the M14, we're going to see something a little bit different. Uh, the very lowest number there, the limbs and arms number, it's going to be doing a 2-shot kill as opposed to a 3-shot kill. So ignoring any type of bullet penetration modification or, or coming up on an enemy who's, who's maybe stunned or, or previously damaged, uh, the only difference between these two weapons within close range is the ability for the EBR to two shots, whereas the SKS will three shot if and only if you shoot not one, but two bullets into the limbs, that's the legs or the arms. It's going to take three shots to kill. We don't have time for that. One shot in the limbs is fine, but two shots, that's, that's too many. You know, you can't be doing that. That's going to make it a three shot kill. With semi-competent aim, these guns perform relatively the same up close. Uh, let's do let's do long range. To the limbs, we're doing 41 with the SKS, 45 to the lower body, 49 to the upper chest, and 86 to the head. This means that we no longer can one-shot headshot with the SKS. Let's see how the M14 does. 42 to the limbs, 46 to the lower body. 46 again to the upper chest and we still have that one shot ability to the dome so this is what we'll call long range uh, the SKS three shots all around two shots if one bullet hits the head the EBR is the exact same except the ability to one shot to the head so unless the first shot is with the EBR and it's a head shot which will one shot kill them uh, these two weapons perform the exact same in their respective long ranges but of course that ability to one shot to the head is very powerful and I just want to clarify that we're only going to be talking about two ranges in this weapon comparison these two weapons are both marksman rifles which means that third range the third range is, is farther than we need to worry about because if you're actually in that range uh, the weapons pretty much useless anyways so we're just gonna do the first two ranges and call it close and long range Bear with me, it'll make sense. Alright, so for the SKS, we learned that it doesn't one-shot kill to the head once it hits long range. So as you can see here, I take one step further, and now I'm able to one-shot kill. 
And this distance is 52 meters, which means that uh, 52 meters is the threshold from entering the close range to long range. So with the EBR, we know we're at long range when we cannot two-shot kill anymore. As you can see, I was unable to kill with two shots, so I take a step further up to 82 meters, and I get that two-shot ability back. So we got 52 meters versus the 82 meters, that's a pretty big difference. Um, here you can see I'm showing you 52 meters is from here to the concrete wall where all the cocks like to camp and get their headshot camos. And this is 82 meters, not to the concrete wall, but actually to the boxes all the way at the back of the spawn. So you can see why we're ignoring that third range because we're two ranges deep and we're already talking lengths of maps. So there's the close range uh, distance for the SKS. And that green line is the 82 meters uh, the EBR has for its close range. And hey, don't, don't look away from the screen here. I spent probably six hours on this animation here just to show you the lengths. Alright, let's do the third section of this video, the accuracy section. Uh, a lot of people say that the EBR has crazy first shot recoil. And we might just have to burn them at the stake for being a witch. These guns are looking pretty similar to me. You can see both weapons have that kind of marksman rifle trademark kick. If you actually freeze frame you can see the similarities between them both. This is the first frame after the shots, and it's it's pretty clear they're both very similar. Anyways, let's give these targets the dating and NFL player experience. Both guns kick up to the top right, but the EBR, if you're not careful, actually kicks up above the target. The SKS, on the other hand, manages its recoil a lot better than the EBR. Uh, what, what can we really say? The EBR's just got some kahunis. And if you're not man enough to handle her, then we'll move right on to the uh, fire rate. Fire rate's hard with semi-autos because you don't know what kind of cap they put on. Uh, and your trigger finger's an issue too. So I ran these tests a few times, found that the trends were the exact same, and split my calculated rounds per minute. The SKS indeed shoots faster. I'm thinking around 350 RPMs, and, and the EBR sits at a 290. The last section we're going to cover for these two guns is the mobility. And I'm surprised that they're not too different. Uh, the first thing we can see here is the ADS speed. And uh, probably to the naked eye, there's probably not much of a difference there. Slowing things down, I'm able to determine that we've got a 0.02 second differential between the aim down sight speed. Kind of surprising to me at least, I thought that the SKS is the more mobile marksman rifle would would maybe be a little bit quicker than the ABR, but uh, what do I know? My brain's fried from editing this all day. Anyways, let's do our best Richard Simmons Miracle Legs impression and take a full sprint into the ADS. In fact, if we really slow things down and if I've crossed my I's and dotted my T's, I think that uh, we get the exact same number. Uh, from the sprint out to the standing ADS. And the last thing we'll discuss, I guess, because, well, you know I love to talk even when no one's listening to me. Let's, let's see the reload times. Let's see the first reload where you still have ammo left in the mag. The SKS has double the size of mag as the EBR, which is pretty significant for these rifles. The EBR does have a quicker reload speed, which You'd hope to see considering what a small mag it has in comparison to the SKS. And the second reload where you're completely out of ammo. Once again the EBR is faster but not quite as quick. It uh, loses some ground on the reload when all the ammo is empty. With only 10 bullets this might be the reload animation you see a lot of. And I don't think it's as fast as you'd want it to be but we'll still retain this slight advantage over speed for sure. Congratulations, you made it to the end. The end of this 10 minute review, which which to be honest is quite a feat of its own, but, but what did we learn today? Well, to start we learned that their damage profiles are very similar and the only difference at close range between these two weapons was in the occasion where you shoot the limbs twice 
with the SKS which would result in a 3 shot kill. At long ranges the difference was the ability for the EBR to still one shot kill to the head. Uh, everything else was a 2 shot kill for both weapons. Speaking of ranges we learned that both weapons have pretty good range. However the EBR has 30 meters over the SKS which spans almost in some cases entire map lengths as we can see here. Uh, great range on the EBR completely outclasses the SKS. Uh, but do you need all that range? Well that's for that's for people to decide on their own. In terms of handling, we saw the EBR have that first shot kick, which was pretty big, but the SKS has a little bit of that too. Uh, regardless, the recoil patterns for both weapons were very different. The SKS is much uh, cleaner, easier to put on consecutive shots for sure. The fire rate was a little bit of a doozy to record, but uh, I'm pretty confident in saying that the SKS has a noticeable faster fire rate to shoot that 20 round mag. And speaking of mags, we saw that the reload time for the EBR was faster, uh, but not that much faster, especially when the mag was completely empty. And finally, the overall handling of the weapons. The SKS was only slightly faster in terms of speed, uh, which is definitely surprising to me. I thought the SKS would be noticeably faster, but uh, it's pretty much non-existent. Oh, and of course, we cannot forget that we learned that uh, Mara has a fat ass. I'm just kidding, we already knew that. Which gun wins? Which gun's better? Which gun do you want to see compared next time? Uh, thanks for watching as always. It's been a treat. Bye bye.